Eleanor, thank you. All right, let's talk a little Friday night high school football action and bragging rights on the line in Pueblo. The Cannon game returns tonight as Pueblo East defends the Cannon against Pueblo South. Of course, the last time these two rivals met, the game called off before halftime. A fight broke out, you may recall, with just a minute remaining in the second quarter. Multiple players from each team ejected and suspended, and the two suspended two volunteer coaches as well from South. Neither school was disqualified, though, from last year's game. Instead, officials stopped the game over safety reasons. Since East was up 23 zip at the time, they were declared the winners. Tonight, Pueblo South, Pueblo East, they do it all over again. It's a clean slate for both squads after having a year to reflect on what happened last year. Tonight's Cannon game is our game of the week. Let's send things over to Caroline Peters, who is joining us live from venerable Dutch Clark Stadium. Caroline? Hey, yes, like you said, a big tradition down here in Pueblo. You can see the stands are already getting filled for the 48th Cannon game. And this is a big deal, an all-day event. Earlier today, the Pueblo County Courthouse hosted both schools' spirit squads. They held a pep rally to fire up for the occasion. And it's a chance for students to show off their school spirit. But let's get right to it. I'm here with head coach from Pueblo E. Coach Tony Valdez, I just want to thank you for taking time tonight to join us. Thanks. Thank you for having me. Yeah, for sure. So you both have had a rough start to the season, East and South. South looking for their first win of the season. You guys are one and three on the season. How would a win tonight really help shape the rest of your season? I think a win tonight will really propel us into our league play. Getting us a win tonight is also going to give us the confidence that we need to reel off, go on a run, go on a little win streak. We know that we're going to have to win league and to get in the playoffs, and that's our ultimate goal. And last year, we know emotions are always running high with games like this, rivalries like this, the fight last year. What have you said to your players? What conversations have you had with them to tell them, hey, let's not do that again, but let's still keep that rivalry alive? Right. You know, the game of football is a very violent, physical game. Passion and emotions run high, and that's non-negotiable. But we definitely were emphasizing sportsmanship, fair play, and really what we talked about was all the little eyes that are going to be in the stands watching our guys tonight, those future Eagles, the middle school players, the elementary school players. We want to provide for them a great role model and a testament to what it looks like to play the game the right way, playing hard, playing physical, but still remain, remaining that sportsmanship. All right, thanks, Coach. I won't hold you up any longer. We're going to have highlights from this game along with all of the other games from across Southern Colorado tonight on Friday Football Fever. We'll see you then. But for now, reporting in Pueblo, Caroline Peters, News 5.